Well, uh, let's go live to the BBC's interactive newsroom where Siobhan Courtney uh, has the story for us. Siobhan, give us some more details about this uh, so-called planned attack. Well, Julian, the BBC was made aware that scores of pornographic material were being uploaded up, um, onto YouTube. Now, the key point here is that these videos were uploaded under the names of popular celebrities such as Hannah Montana and the Jonas Brothers. The majority we watched started with footage of children's videos before fading into groups of adults performing sex acts. And as we watched the videos, users posted comments such as, you're going to kill us all, take the tags off, you'll get us caught. And under one video, which was called Jonas Brothers Live on Stage, there was this comment, I'm 12 years old, and what is this? Now, before we contacted YouTube, we copied a selection of these videos. This is an edited version of what viewers would have seen if they first clicked on the video. Let's go! All aboard! Come aboard, you little buccaneer! Do what you want, because the pirate is free! You are a pirate! Are you a hoy in the past? Dick it, dick it, dick it, dick it, dick it, and the black pack at the end of the mast! You are a pirate! Now, YouTube have removed what we understand to be the majority of these clips. They've told the BBC, we are aware of a slew of pornographic videos that were uploaded. We are addressing this as we would any video that violates our community guidelines. In addition, any account that has been set up to attack YouTube will be disabled. Um, is anyone claiming responsibility for uploading the material, Siobhan? Well, I contacted one of the users who was uploading this material. His name is Flonty, and his profile stated he's 21 and from Germany. He told me I did it because YouTube keeps deleting music. It was part of a 4chan raid, and I asked Flonty, what is 4chan? He replied to me, I suggest you don't go there if you don't want to see gross things. It's an internet board. And I wanted to know, was he not concerned that children could freely view this inappropriate material? And he told me, children will find inappropriate material around the internet anyway. This raid kind of showed how easy it is to upload porn to a website that millions of people browse on a daily basis. Now, I've just been onto YouTube again, and Flonty's account has now been closed. And what about uh, wider reaction, Siobhan? Because clearly this throws up lots of questions about the accessibility and availability of material that's online, doesn't it? Absolutely. A massive response via the BBC News website. Nearly 2,000 emails on this so far. And comments not just coming in from the UK, but international views as well. And after going through all these emails, I'd say, Julian, about 60% think it's awful. 40% think it's actually rather amusing. Let's go through some of these comments. Brett in the US says... This is an obvious attack on children. There is not much of a difference between this and a person walking up to a child and exposing themselves to them. Those that did this should be charged with sexual assault of a minor. The number of counts brought against them should be the number of times the video was watched by a child. And this one's from Hal, who says, My young kid is 11. I trust him to view content appropriate for him on the Internet. And I was appalled when I found him watching pornographic material on none other than YouTube, which is supposedly safe for children to browse without parental supervision. But Victor from Latvia, he's summing up the views of many that says, the internet community is just like any other community. You can't put a policeman on it to watch every people's move, and if you do, it only triggers a revolt. And one interesting point, actually, is this story is generating a much wider interest. Lots of message boards and social networking sites discussing this story. And lots of anger from the online skin community towards Flonty for talking to the BBC. People calling him a traitor, amongst other things.